Hi, today I'm making hearts out of soap dough. These are my first two attempts. Uh, one is curved and the other one is more flat. Now, this soap dough, I made it and I use the real red or super red mica from Nurture Soap. And I've noticed that it doesn't have a, it's sticky. So it doesn't have a good um, feel to it. So I let it out a little bit, maybe like a minute to see, because it was really wet. And it seems to have helped some. However, even if, if it still stays sticky or it doesn't behave, when it gets really hard, I will wipe it with um, a towel with alcohol and then that will smooth then it will make the surface more smooth. So what I'm doing first is I made a bolt and that I'm making an oval. And that will be my initial shape. And once I have the oval, I'm going to flatten it with my between my palms. I don't do it against the surface because otherwise if I do that, I'm going to get a flat surface on the back. But if I do it in the hollow of my hands, it stays curved. So I'm guessing this end, I'm just going to pinch to start shaping the heart. And I'm doing elongated heart shapes, but I could do them shorter if I wanted to. And then I will probably just, um, instead of doing an oval, I will start from the round. Then I'm using this. This is a staple puller, just to do the division in the middle. So I get this and then I just start curving with my fingers around the middle and I'm also pressing on each side and then I continue to press on the bottom and then on here. The idea is to go slowly and to do a gentle touch. Because that way you don't squeeze too much. But that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to try to make one that is not so elongated. That's more um, of the traditional shape. So I'm going to grab another piece of soap dough. And I'm going to roll it into a bowl. And once it's a bowl, I'm going <coughs> to flatten it. Excuse me. So I have a disc. And see, I'm going to use this side. So from this shape I'm going to choose an angle and I chose this one that is going to be the end and I'm going to pinch and it creates this shape so now that I'm going to adjust I'm going to pinch the opposite way so it remains uniform as far as the thickness goes and at the same time that I'm pressing with my fingers like this, with this other finger, I'm pressing the opposite way because I don't want it to become elongated too much. Then I do the same thing. And I'm going to cut it in half in the top, like so. And I get this shape. And then it's just a matter of doing the same thing. See how the cut made it this wider so I go back and I press it with my fingers and then I press the corner to make it round and I'll be also pushing this in to keep a more traditional heart shape and now the surface I see some imperfections and I'm just trying to smooth them out but like I said before, when it this becomes rock, rock solid, I will 
take a paper towel, spray it with alcohol, and then smooth it out some. Ideally, you want to get it as smooth as, as, as smooth as you can before you cure. But if your soap dough is not behaving, that's another thing you can do. But this is it, pretty much. And I may keep playing with it to make it more... And this is going to be the back, because it's uneven. But this side seems to be more even. And if you have uh, tools, definitely use them. It will help you smoothen them out. I would probably, if I had it, I would be using my rubber tip shaper. It's pointy and it's rubbery, so it will help a lot. But this is it. Maybe I'll do some Valentine soup with it. I hope you liked it, and if you did, and you want to get notifications, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.